angry guy here, and Filipinos are striking back against Western women over password bros. You guys, the shorter intro. You have to earn the longer intro. But a lot of you are real so nasty, but be like, oh, angry. The intro is too loud, so now you get something short. Anyway, guys, so F- Filipinas are striking back against Western women over password bros. We've got a video here discussing some more of this, and we're going to be looking at this how these Filipinas are clapping back because they are not taking, not putting up with the bullshit. So this video actually comes from It's Kevo. And let's 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 just, let's just jump into it. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so I know I don't know if you guys know about the passport bros. So apparently, these these guys who are traveling around the world to these foreign countries and saying that the women are better because they're tired of the Western women. So apparently, women in the West are clapping back and saying that these women are oppressed and stuff like that. So now I got this video where Filipina women are striking back at women in the united states of america i think it's gonna be a good one because i'm already looking at the thumbnail and this chick is gorgeous i i want to know what she has to say all right so anyways let's get into that video like the video right now and at the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it hit that subscribe button all right let's go the amount of disrespect in that video is unfathomable not only did you just generalize one country but Three. Did you even know that in the Philippines, they speak English as their second language? Have you even traveled outside of the U.S. yet? Because nope. I know a lot of Americans that never even leave America. If you come to Bangkok, I know a lot. Thailand, a lot of people here do speak English very well as well. So I think you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know, it's interesting. It's like you have you literally have you literally have women going after these these types of women like most of the women attacking these women are not even good looking like we have to like just be honest about it like most of the women attacking these women are not they're not even good looking they're not they're not beautiful women you know they're not they're not they're not some they're not women that most men are dying to date or marry but uh but 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 they seem they seem to think that they have some reason like this is a beautiful woman this is a beautiful woman and it's interesting, and she's clearly like American because she's, you know, she speaks to, she's, she's talking about what's happening, but she's of Filipino descent and she's not taking that shit, you know, and a lot of the Filipinos are not taking that shit anymore. They're not putting up with that bullshit. They're like, let fuck that shit, you know? We was right. Yep. We were right about the part of the passport movement that if black women keep making TikTok videos assaulting these other women, Talking yep. about black men was talking trash on the way out the door as we left. We shouldn't do that when really we wasn't. But we warned them that if they keep making videos about it, they're mm-hmm. only going to make the movement grow stronger. Mm-hmm. They're yep. only going to make more of the world hear about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what has happened? ผู้ชายอเมริกันนะคะที่ตั้งตัวเองว่า passport bro นะเหมือนเป็น movement สร้างคอนเทนต์ที่ชักชวนให้ผู้ชายอเมริกันเนี่ยออกมาหาตามหา To have education. These women are very smart women. Talk like you know, hashtag passport bros. Karen, passport bros wives are coming. Watching these women talk about Asian ladies is a disgrace. Yep. And I want to tell you about their book. So a passport bro, from my understanding, is this new movement. Push I can eat happen show American cat. He has a you never hit down you die. How they put in passport bros movement. Like women can that can speak very little English. Women that that generalization is quite irritating. If you want to know the reason why men go to other countries to find someone they love, it's because of women like you. Yes, sir. But women empowerment. Tell them. Teens, Thailand. Like women can that can speak very little English. Women that nope. don't have and, education. And not- women- okay, let's talk about passport, bro, because you guys have seen a lot on social media at the moment. Me, born and raised in Thailand, living in Thailand. English. Excuse me. Very I good speak English. Three languages, and you're saying that we Thai people have no <laughs> education. I'll tell him, sister. Tell him. I don't know what type of people you have met in this entire life, but ma'am, what you're saying is reversing back to you as someone who might not have enough education. I have a Finnish boyfriend. Don't even expect his passport because I don't know how to speak Finnish and work in Finland. So it's not everybody <laughs> who's doing that, madam. And if us Asian can treat men better than you guys, that's not our problem. Yes. Problem. 
problem. Change your attitude. Change yes. your mindset. And probably you will attract better men into your life. Yes. Right? So yeah, if Tell you don't want someone to look down on you. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, I told y'all. I told y'all. They were clapping back hard. They're clapping back hard. These these ladies are not taking they're not taking bullshit. They're not taking bullshit. All right. These 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 Asian ladies are not taking bullshit from anyone. They are clapping back and they are clapping back hard right now. And they're letting it they're letting them know like we're not taking your shit. Respect you, then start that from you first. Think Tell about them. it because you're a grown woman. Man, I don't know. I'm happy that the passport movement. I am happy. Going. But these black women need to stop making these videos and making these comments because this is becoming a little bit embarrassing. I'm starting to feel these women have no these women have no self control. That's what it is. These American American women have no self control. I mean, they, you literally have videos of them shrieking and shouting at men at the gym just for walk or you know just just guys going about their daily business. You know, these women have made it very clear that they hate men. And but at the same time, they need men, and now they're watching men walk away and they're going crazy because the men are leaving. Like, yeah, how much sense does that actually make? That just shows you, like, they say they, they said that a recent study has found that 25% of American women are on some form of mental health medication, right? Which means that 75% are currently being untreated. I feel like the way that this man feels about his auntie. This one for auntie. Auntie, chill. <laughs> 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 guys, this is about yes. the trending on TikTok right now, the passport bros. I, guys, these women are tired. Um, most of you, a lot of the women in America. These women are getting tired. These women are getting fed the fuck up. Like, are they're getting fed the fuck up. Like, they don't want to hear you dragging Asian women, all right? They don't want to hear you dragging Asian women, talking shit about Asian women, running your mouths about Asian women. They're, they're not going to let that shit fly. Uh, what I watch is they are saying that a lot of um, people from the Philippines, I'm Filipina, we don't speak English. All right? No, we don't. We speak proper We're English. We're uneducated. Yes, we didn't go to school, you know? Come on. One... You go to the hospital in the States. How many Filipino nurses have you seen? A uh -huh. lot. You know? A lot. Come here in town. I live in Thailand right now. There's tons of Filipino teachers, English teachers yep. here in Thailand. It's embarrassing for us black men. Okay. I am a nurse too, but I work in a corporate company right now. But it's just so sad that... Instead of you guys looking in the mirror to find out what the problem is, figure out what's wrong in your relationship with your partner. But I am starting to think. All right. I feel that 100%. Okay. Because, guys, these women have got off to, you know, these American women, they've lost and they're salty. And by the way, if you guys are enjoying these videos, go ahead and subscribe. Give, you know, drop a subscribe. You know, if you're watching the video right now and you haven't subscribed and you keep on coming back, there's a reason why you're coming back. So, you know, subscribe to you know show us the channel some love subscribe and even like the video too but yeah these women are getting salty these women are getting frustrated you know these you know these american women are salty and you know these filipinos they're clapping back and letting them know you know we're not putting up with your bullshit like we're sick and tired of that shit we are sick and tired of your shit we're not putting up with it you know how a guy is dating a new woman yeah he got his ex calling harassing that woman Yep. This is mm -hmm. what this kind of feel like. It's like you got that ex. You got your Look at her. She's willing to help. The states that just call in. Uh, oh, shit. Pretty much harassing your new girl. Oh, shit. Kind of yep. Into a big old thing. Now, I do not want to apologize for what other people are saying, but I do feel bad. Like, man, I hate that women oh, are being God. drawn into this. Oh, shit. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro. Bro. Bro, can you say winning? Can you say winning? Oh my gosh. Can you say winning? Like, like, no, 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 no. Like, this is this is some winning shit right here. Like, this is winning. This is some winning. Oh my gosh. Like, guys, these guys are these guys are are just cleaning up. Like, look, look at look at this beautiful woman. All right. Look at this beautiful woman. I'm gonna jump back a little bit. Look at this, look at this beautiful woman, all right. 
Look at this book. Look at this beautiful woman. Look at look at look look at look at this man with this beautiful woman. All right. Another example. Look at this. It's gonna turn yep. into a big old thing. Now I do not look at look at this man with this beautiful woman. All right. Oh, but these women are these women are uneducated. They don't know what they're doing. They have no power. They have no control over these men. You've got to be kidding me, guys. Who looks who's who looks like they're in the <laughs> This woman is clearly in control. She's clearly in control. All right. She's clearly in control. She's clearly in control. Okay. These, these, look at these, look at this shit. Look at this shit. All right. These women, look at this shit. These women don't look like they're uneducated. These women look like they're waiting. They know exactly what they're doing. They found themselves a man who doesn't want to, doesn't want to be out in the streets. All right, they found themselves marriageable men who don't want to be out in the streets. All right, that's what they've done. That's what they've done. I hate that women are being drawn into this. I mean, it, no, it's 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 just it's 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 ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous at this point. Absolutely, absolutely, it's absolutely ridiculous at this point. For what I mean, other people are saying, but I do feel bad, like. I mean, look at look look how pretty this girl is. Look how pretty she is, guys. Like I'm just I'm going frame by frame because I want you guys to look at the kind of women that these men are getting. All right, I want y'all to see it. Look at the kinds of women that these men are getting. Like man, I hate that women are being drawn into this and clapping back. Got to make video. Look at what the fuck is this? Yo, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this, guys? What the fuck is what kind of short? Look at these slim, beautiful women, young, beautiful women. Look at what these men are picking up. This is a young man. This dude is not even 20. This dude is in his fucking 20s. You got the 20-year-olds. Like, I'm telling y'all, the young men are starting to pick up on this shit. This the young men. I'm telling y'all, this is what's gonna happen. What is what's really going to happen now? Right now, it's becoming a right now, it's becoming a it's a trend. It's becoming a trend. Trends become normalities, and normalities become traditions. All right, I'll repeat once again: trends become normalities, and normalities become a tradi- become traditions. And it's going to become a tradition where a man in America wants a wife. Not this is this not talking about twenty years from now. All right, we're talking about within like pr- like talk about like twenty thirty. You want you, you want a wife? It's now a tradition to go overseas and get yourself a wife overseas. All right, you don't fuck around with these women in the states. Now they're I loving their men because the men are cheating. Jesus Christ, my God, look at this. Uh, no, guys, guys, these guys are guys, these are these all right. A lot of times, like like these women are like fucking eights and nines. All right, got some eights and nines. Look, the guys compared to them are like sixes, and they are winning. They are fucking winning, and they're winning hard. They're winning hard. And the craziest thing is that you've got American women saying that these women are lower than or lesser value than they are. You know, they're like, oh, they think American women think they think that think that they're so amazing. Treating them so good. A lot of pride about their race and their culture. That's what I've noticed. Like these these diverse race, like interracial couples, they work so well, especially in the foreign. Like they invite you into their homes because they like once you're treating my daughter right and taking care of my daughter, my daughter will take care of you and you are a family member. Guys, I'm telling y'all, this is, I'm telling y'all, this is it. This is it for, this is it. American women, are, you know, Western women, they're going to have to take that big L. They're going to have to take that fat L, you know? It's like they take that fat D from Tyrone. They're going to have to take that that, that fat L, all right? Because because uh, men are done. Men are done with this shit. They're done with the bullshit. They're done with the nonsense. They're not putting up with it anymore. And they are walking away from Western women and Western society. They're going MWA. If they stay in America, they're only going to work as much as they have to or not work at all. Otherwise, they're leaving the country. They're going overseas. And they're finding they're finding, they're finding wives and new wives and living simple lives, you know, and, and putting the American bullshit behind them, you know. Because, you know, Jack Carlin, who was it? Was it Carlin? Who was it? Carlin, 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 and he was—he's one of my favorite comedians. Um, yeah, George Carlin. He said it. He said this about the American dream. He said it's called the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. You know, you have to be asleep to actually believe in the American dream. 
Guys, that's everything I have for you. What do you think about this? Filipinas are striking back against Western women over password bros. What do you think about all the beautiful women that I showed you with these men? These men are cleaning up and they are not fucking around. What do you all think about this? Are you going to go and get yourself a Latina or a or, or Filipina. Me personally, I'm going for a Filipina, but there's clearly women all over the world and many great women all over the world that you go and get. Yes, there is female nature, but there's also culture. And these women in America are, are jokers. You know, all women want money. All women want a man that will provide for them. But these women in America, they're looking for millionaires. They're looking for dudes with long dicks. You know, I mean, you're not going to get that from... I mean, like, seriously, really, the average woman doesn't need more than three inches. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. The average woman really doesn't need more than three inches, all right? Six inches is plenty, all right? Six inches is plenty. But what these bitches are talking about, nine fucking inches, what are you doing with nine inches? You can't even fit nine inches, all right? You can't even fit nine inches. You know why? Because these bitches are greedy. They're fucking greedy, all right? They're fucking greedy, all right? And it's not just Lent. They also want the circumference. They, 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 they want it all. They want it all. I'm telling y'all something. I'm going to be honest with y'all. This happened to me years ago. I was like, I hated but the girl that I was with. I fucking hated that girl. I fucking hated that girl. I said to her, you know, I said to her, well, you, you have to be pretty happy because I'm, you know, because I'm big. And she goes, log maybe. I could have, oh my gosh. Oh my God. Guys, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't please them. You can't please them. All right. I literally, I literally, I said to her, you have to be happy with me. I mean, you you won the jackpot, right? And she goes, what do you mean by that? I'm like, well, I'm pretty big. She goes, long maybe. I was so, like, long maybe? What the fuck? What more do you want? Like, oh, no, it has to be, oh, it needs to be, it needs to be meaty. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. Let me know what you think about this. Filipinos are striking back against Western women over passive bros are basically fighting back against the dark empire. The Jedi strike back, you know, the, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe guys. Give me a, you know, subscribe to the video, you know, so that you subscribe to the channel to the video, subscribe to the channel so that you can, you know, keep getting more videos and, and it's awesome like that. And turn on notifications to never another, miss another video again. So like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And uh, how do we say it? How do we put it together? Cheers. It's, it's not hard. It's not hard. Cheers, cheers. Like, you know, the Sandy Man can because he mixes it with love. It makes the world taste good. Uh, guys, if you want to hear me singing songs and get it, get tons of digital content and bonus videos, go over to Subscribestar, subscribestar.com slash angry dash MGTOW. I, I couldn't change the URL, so you guys can see I still am technically the angry MGTOW in that way. This is like some things are just never going to change. And you can find a ton of bonus content over there. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.